Yo, what's up everybody? It's Nova and I just wanted to say thank you guys on the support for the videos and also the channel overall. We have grew about uh, I think 200 subscribers in the last week, which is crazy. But because I haven't really been putting out like quality videos like that, I will start back putting out TF2 uh, gameplay videos because on that montage, you guys did say you wanted to see some rollouts and some other stuff. So I will be dropping those. But also this video isn't about gameplay on Team Fortress 2. Uh, also, Into the Radius VR is being delayed till next week on Sunday. It is dropping Sunday. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for that. I'll put the post up on screen right now. So, um, yeah. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So as you guys know, I am a VR content creator, an Oculus VR content creator to be exact. So it is very different for uh, people on PC VR. All they have to do is just fucking put up OBS and just hit record. Uh, but I am on Oculus. I like to have the freedom actually i'll say and yes maybe the graphic fidelity may not be the best yes i could play on pc vr my pc is capable enough but at the same time i don't really want to that's too much extra work for me to go through just to have like the graphics just look different that's mainly it but anyways besides this you guys want to know how to become a vr content creator and upload your videos to uh vr so i'm assuming you guys have a pc you're gonna need a pc for this uh, and also I am assuming that you guys have an editing software. If you don't have an editing software, I'll link some right about here. If you look to my right, you have uh, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, a free one that I found online. So um, yeah, so besides all that and getting the software running, you are gonna have to know how to edit. So if you don't know how to edit your videos, I guess go watch on whatever software you're wanting to learn or what, whatever software you have, you are gonna wanna learn to edit. So let's just get into the meat and potatoes of this thing right now. Once you're in the headset, the first thing you want to go do is you want to hit record just to test this out and make sure that is working. You're going to also need this cable. Uh, it will be in the link in the description. You could either use the charging cable if you want to, or you could use that cable. Uh, so basically, you're just going to want to plug that cable into your PC and then plug it into your headset. And once you plug it into your headset, and once you've plugged it up into your headset, you'll meet it with this screen. And all you have to do is just click allow, and it will basically sync your headset to your PC, basically. And once you have it synced, you want to go back to your desktop. So let's go. So once you guys still have your Oculus hooked up to your PC, you want to basically go to your file explorer. Once the file explorer is pulled up, you want to basically go to scroll down on the left hand side until you see Quest 2. Once you're at Quest 2, you want to see internal shared storage. I'm going to put this up on fully. So internal shared storage, you want to go to Oculus and then you want to go to video shots and then you will see your video right here. Now, again, Quest 2 internal shared storage and oculus and video shots screenshots is where you have all of your pictures and stuff i don't have any pictures but screenshots is where you have all your pictures saved so if you want to do that uh but video shots this is where all your videos is going to be and this is the video that i just recorded so all you want to do now is i'm going to share my icons and all you want to do now is basically drag this over here to your desktop now you want to make sure it's on your desktop and it will basically download like this so once it's fully downloaded it will be like exactly like this com.oculus and dot whatever the game is basically so like if i'm doing contractors it would be contractors or if i'm doing minecraft it would be minecraft etc etc so once you guys have this basically on there all you want to do is basically just kind of exit out of this go to whatever uh software you guys are using I'm using DaVinci Resolve, so I'm going to pull it up right here. And all I want to do is scroll my DaVinci all the way to the side here and basically bring the file inside of my uh, my editing software. And now, as you can see, I can drag it on my timeline and I can edit it any way I want to. So now it's on my timeline. Boom, I can edit it. And once I'm done editing it, I just go to my render. And this is basically just where you render your video, etc., etc. So um yeah that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed love you all peace out like and subscribe and also depending on the software again depending on your editing software this might be different i can get from your desktop you can actually probably just go here go to media and then uh go to desktop and drag it from there so it just all kind of depends on what you're using but for davinci you have to drag it from your desktop to the uh to the master key itself so I hope you guys like and subscribe, love you all, peace out, and also remember Into the Radius video is dropping Saturday and we also have a video dropping tomorrow, so expect that. So uh, yeah, with that being said, love you all, peace out, have a nice night or day, and also check out the Twitch schedule down in the description below. You guys will not be disappointed, I'll be streaming Thursdays, I mean not Thursdays, I'll be streaming Fridays and also Wednesdays, so just go check it out. Love you all, like and subscribe, have a nice day or night wherever you are. Peace.